Good morning students. Today we will discuss or we will solve the numerical problem in CPU scheduling. So here is a problem. Here are four processes P1, P2, P3 and P4. Along with this bus time is associated with each process. For P1 it is 6. For P2 it is 5 nanosecond, for P3 it is 2 and for P4 it is 1 and its arrival time is also given 2, 1, 3, 6. That means process P1 comes at, suppose uh, it start from 10, 10 o'clock, so process P1 comes at 10.02, process P2 comes at 10.01, process P3 comes at 10.03 and process P4 comes at 10.06. Now we will have to draw the net chart. In case of SJF and SRTF, the second question is calculate waiting time for each process in SJF and SRTF slowly. So, first start with SJF, that means shortest job first. Shortest job first means the problem which has the minimum bus time will be selected first for execution. So, first we will draw the nap chart. Now, from the arrival time, it is shown that process P2 comes first. So, we will start with process P2. Process P2's arrival time is 10.01 or 1. And its bus time is 5, so simply we will add to get its completion time or finish time. So process P2 finishes. Next, the system time is 10.06. Within the system time 10.06, process P1 comes, process P3 comes, process P4 comes. And among them, process P4 bus time is less or minimum so we will select process before and we will add bus time with it so we will get 7 next process p3 will be selected because when we compare with 6 and 2 2 is minimum that's why process p3 is selected and we get the bus time or we get the completion time is 9 and the last process is process P1 and its finish time will be 9 plus 6 that means 15. Now come to SRTF. First we have to draw the net chart and from this diagram we can see that process P2 arrival time is 10.01 so we will start with process P2 1 starting time is 1 we will continue its execution up to 10.02 because at 10.02 another process is coming so process P2 starts its execution for 1 second and after 1 second, the bus time will be 4. Now the system clock time is 10.02. At 10.02, there are two process. Process P1 that comes at 10.02. And process P2, which is doing its execution. Now, among this process, compare between the bus time. Process P2's bus time is minimal. So, we will again select the process P2 and we will continue the execution of process P2 for another 1 second because at 10.03 another process is coming. So, we will continue the execution of process P2 for 1 second. Now, the bus time will be 3. Now, the system time is 10.03. And at that time or at this time, process P1, process P2, process P3 is present in the system. Now compare 6, 3 and 2. 
process speed is bus time is minimal that's why we will select process p3 and continue its execution for 2 second so we will get 3 to 5 next process p3 finishes its execution now there are two processes 6 and 3 that means process p1 and process p2 we will select process p2 and continue its execution for 1 second after 1 second it bus time will be 2 we will stop the execution because at 10.06 there is process p4 so now when the system time is 10.06 there are 3 process whose bus time are 6, 2 and 1 the minimum bus time is of process p4 so we will select process p4 and we will continue its execution for 1 second so we will get 7 process before it finishes its execution now there are two process process p1 and process p2 process p2 is bus time is minimum that's why you select process p2 and we finish its execution next there is process p1 process p1 bus time is 6 so simply we will add 9 plus 6 to get it finish time now from this snapchat diagram the second question is calculate waiting time for each process in SF and SRTF scheduling. Now, for SJF, waiting time for process P1 will be so we will select this snapchat. Now the waiting time for process P1 will be process P1 start time is 9 and its arrival time is 2 so we will get 7 waiting time for process P2 will be P2 start time is 1 and arrival time is 1 so we will get 0 now waiting time for process P3 P3 start time is 7, arrival time is 3, so we will get 4, next process is process P4, so we will get 6, its start time and its arrival time is 6, that's why 6 minus 6, that's why we will get 0. Now come to SRTF for SRTF waiting time for process P1 will be start time is 9 arrival time is 2 so we will get 7 waiting time for process P2 will be P2's waiting time start time is 1 Arrival time is 1, so we will get 1 minus 1 plus here start time is 5, finish time is 3, so we will get 5 minus 3 plus start time is here 7 and its finish time is 6, so 7 minus 6, so we will get 0 plus 2 plus 1 that means 3 now waiting time for process P3 will be its start time is 3 and arrival time is 3 so we will get 0 now waiting time for process P4 will be start time is 6 its arrival time is 6 so we will get 0 so by this way we can conclude that we are given a table where there were 4 processes bus time is associated with it and arrival time is associated with it we have 
draw we have drawn from the table its net checked for SGF and SRTF and we have calculated also the waiting time for each process in case of SGF and SRTF.